Oh my God. In a little German town called Jutten, people still fall in love with the old fashioned way through handwritten letters and destiny. Meet the celebrity Okutri that has been bringing together dreamers from around the world long before dating apps were even conceived. The 500 year old tree is registered in national monument and is the first tree in the world to have its own postal address and a postman. Oh my god. People looking for love like to the tree, hoping that it will reach the right person, and it often does. A whole high up in the tree trunk, which saves other post box, can be reached by a three meter tall wooden ladder resting against the trunk. It is lovingly referred to as the bloody crumbs of. The tree itself was symbolically mailed in 2009 to the Himogas chestnut. In English language, we can say the heaven spirit chestnut, a horse chestnut tree in Dusseldorf, the second tree with a postal address. The long distance relationship worked great for six years until the chestnut tree cheated. Cheated. Why, women? Oh no, the chestnut tree died. Love it or leave it. Anyone can climb the ladder and open any letter they want to. If they don't wish to respond to a letter, they simply need to put it back in the post box. You will not force it. The history of the tree as a post box dates back to the late 19th century. It is believed that the daughter of the local head forest, Mina, fell in love with the son of the chocolate maker from Leipzig, Wilhelm. Since Mina's father didn't approve the match, the young lovers used to secretly leave notes for each other in the trunk of the old tree. Later, the father had a change of heart and the couple tied the knot under the same very tree on June 2, 1891. Now, what's the coolest job in the world? In 1927, to keep up with the vast amount of the mail that she was receiving, the Deutsche Post assigned the tree to its own postal address in the postman. Six days a week, a postman delivers letters to the tree from Hope of Hearts around the world. On the occasion of Valentine's Day 2018, BBC did a feature on the bridegroom's or wherein a correspondent had a heart to heart with 72 year old Carl Hayes Martens, a postman who delivered letters to the tree from 1984 to 2004. Explaining why he loved his job, he puts it beautiful. He says, on the internet, facts and questions match people, but at the tree, it is a beautiful coincidence like fate. I want to go to Java. The tree receives at least 1,000 letters per year from all over the world, written in a number of languages. Martins remembers delivering up to 50 letters a day and counted only 10 days in 20 years when he didn't have any letter to deliver to the Orc. Even after retiring, Martins keeps coming back to the tree that changed his life. Has the tree really succeeded in this? The tree is believed to be responsible for bringing together 100 couples in matrimony, including postman Carl Heinz Martins and his wife Renette. In 1989, Martins featured in a TV program about the oak tree, where he was asked if he had found love in the post box. He answered in the negative. A few days later, he discovered a letter addressed to him from Renate. One thing led to another, and the couple said their vows under the tree in 1994. Another beautiful story involves a young German soldier named Peter Palm, who found a note in the tree with only name and address written on it. As fate would have it, he responded and the couple celebrated their 57th wedding anniversary in 2018. The tree also built together loving hearts from two sides of the infamous Berlin Wall. A 19 year old named Claudia from Eastern German and the farmer Frederick Christiansen from Western German fall in love with each other's written words and they met only when the wall came down. They mailed in May 
1990. If this story starts the romantic union and they wish to give fate a chance, like to the tree, there is the address. You can also, of course, visit the legendary tree in person. I'm going now. Let's meet Newton Gemma. See you. Peace out.